Hey, so back in high school, I had a bit of a climbing phase. And no, none of that crazy parkour stuff where you jump from building to building, practicing every day just to hone your skills as a person. Yeah, it was just kind of climbing for the sake of being able to say, I climbed that. So before you ask why, you have to know that I live in a pretty boring city. Now, it wasn't too small where like, there'd only be nature around, but it wasn't exactly a big touristy city either, you know? I mean, the only exciting thing that really happens is like when it snows early within the year. Wow. It's, uh, it's snowing. Yep. Yeah, so, uh, not much to do. And that feeling of boredom led me and my friends to do some pretty stupid things. And one of them happened to be climbing schools. Alright, so it started off small with like big rocks and we just climb each other's houses. But then one day, one of my friends, Arnell, thought it'd be a good idea to climb school. So we got the idea when we saw some kids crawling through a fence, and when taking a look from the outside, it actually looked like a really easy climb. The school was fenced off, poorly, and there was a ladder leading to the roof. They placed like a piece of wood on one side of the ladder, but you could have easily just climbed on the other side of it, so there was like no point. So yeah, after the first climb, we, we just got addicted. Like, we, we just couldn't stop. I mean, it was fun, but it also gave like a sense of accomplishment, you know? So it was me, my friends, Nestor, David, and Arnell. And every time we meet up, we would find different schools to climb. It kind of came to the point where like the goal was to climb every school within the city, which now that I think about it was pretty impossible. Now, there'd be different difficulties for each school. Some were straightforward, like the ladder thing. Some, there'd be like a couple of obstacles you had to go through to get to the main roof. And others, you just kind of, uh, actually, it's straight up impossible. Yeah, so also kind of random, but do you realize how much balls and other cool junk is up there? And yeah, we took some, and I guess it was kind of stealing, but dude, who's going to climb the school in the middle of the night just to get their ball back? Okay, whatever. Now, there was this one particular climb that I probably would never forget. It was in the middle of summer, and we just arrived at some random school. We'd done this so many times already, so it was basically routine at this point. We all split up and went on surveillance to check for cameras, people, and all possible entry points. And when we came back, this is what we had. All right, so no one around, check. No cameras, check. And two possible entry points. All right, perfect. So the first entry point were just some trees that barely went above the school. We decided not to go for this one because we thought the branches wouldn't hold when we got to the top. And it was also right beside the streets, so we didn't want to get caught. Although when we did the school again, me and Nestor were able to do it. Anyway, the second one was behind the school and it was a lot more secluded. It was like one of those poles that went up the school for like electricity, I guess but it wasn't completely attached, so we can kind of get our fingers behind it. So, this is the one we went for. Everything was going smoothly at first. We all managed to come to school one by one, and we did the usual. Look for loot, check out the scenery, and just kind of celebrate, because now we can check off another school from the list. The problem arose when we were climbing down. Now, I kind of forgot to mention this, but I had an injured hand at this time. I got it from a different climb we did a while back. It was from one of those wired fences where the top part would be all super sharp to deter away trespassers, but that didn't stop me. Uh, actually, it kind of did, since it freaking sliced my hand open. Alright, it wasn't that bad, but it still hurt. Anyway, so we were all starting to climb down, and my hands weren't feeling too great from the climb up. I didn't think it was that bad at the time, but I was wrong. So everyone got down fine, and I was the last one. I slowly climbed down, and that's when it happened. I lost grip of the freaking pole. Like, what? I also forgot to mention, but at a certain point of the pole, you couldn't wrap your fingers around it because of how the skull was. And this, with a combination of my injured hand, made me lose grip. So, there was me, falling. My life flashed before my eyes and I could see all the regrets in my life. Alright, no, it was nothing like that. But, you know that feeling of regret where you just knew you screwed up and you're just waiting for that beat on? Yeah, that's exactly how I felt, but with like, the concrete. I mean, the drop itself was only like 10 feet and I was fine at the end, but man, I was, I was freaking scared. And after that, I learned a valuable lesson. If you're ever falling... Never trust your friends to catch you. So, that was my super duper scary experience climbing. And for everyone watching, I highly suggest you guys don't do this, okay? I know it's hypocritical, but it is trespassing. And if I fell from a higher place, I could have been really hurt. So, yeah. And if you're new and enjoyed this video, you guys should subscribe because I'll be making more videos soon. Bye. <laughs>